I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting for me. Averroes International School, Graduation Ceremony 2022. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce to all of you a very, very special person, one of Averroes' first ever students, who has been nothing short of a wonder and excellence all throughout her academic career, a high achiever, a performer, and this school's first ever graduate. She has achieved a perfect score of nine out of nine in all of the subjects that she, as that she attended for her IGCSE exams, as well as a perfect score of A out of A in her AS level. Please welcome Fatima Binte Afzal, who will now deliver the commencement address. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to start by saying that this speech is a last minute thing like everything else I did in high school, so forgive me already if I mess up. I'm Fatima bin Tafzal, and I welcome you all to the first ever graduation ceremony of Everest International School. From the bottom of my heart, I congratulate all the graduates, including me, who were every single day for the last few years fighting the urge to quit high school. For those of you who don't know what high school feels like, it was like riding a bike. Except the bike was on fire, and the road was on fire, and everything else was on fire because it was hell. Plus, I don't know how to ride a bike. So once again, a very big congratulations to all those who made it. Now, most of us might think that since we have graduated, we must have our lives sorted out and do smart, adultish things. It's not true. I mean, see, if I had a dollar for every time algebra has helped me in real life, I would have x equals to zero dollars. And given that the most important thing we learned in school is that y is equal to mx plus b, and that the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell, it would actually be pretty surprising if we know what we are doing in life. But if there is something we should know, it is that we don't need to have everything figured out. We just need to do two things. First, trust the Almighty. When we trust Him, we don't worry. He takes, everything. He takes care of everything for us. And second, we need to be who we are. Yeah, I know it sounds cliche, but it's important. Don't change for anyone. Listen to that inner voice, unless it leads to a crime. And if you ever feel like you're too small to make a change, remember all the times you went to bed with a mosquito. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.